Hey everyone, welcome back to the Musicians Prime YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and I'm gonna be your music video maven. Today's video is all about the three key things you need to know in order to make an awesome music video. For those of you who are wondering how I know so much about music video, I'm actually a musician in a group called Four Play Clarinet. We're a group of clarinetists that have used music video as a medium not only to add a visual element to our musical arrangements and compositions, but it served as a jumping off point for our career. Our YouTube channel became really popular because we were making really cool music videos out of all the music that we made. And that kind of established us as authorities in music video making. So ever since that happened, you know, I get people coming up to me all the time asking how we do it or how could they make their own music video. And you know, sometimes I think, you know, as I've talked to people, people get too caught up in the gear or how much money is needed when really you don't need a whole lot, but you do need to get clear on a few things, which is what I'm gonna be talking about today. So with that being said, let's get to our three keys. Key number one, the story is more important than the gear that you have. Let me say this one more time. The story is more important than the gear that you have. One of the top reasons that I hear people don't try to make music videos is that they don't have enough money for all the equipment that they need. In fact, you don't even need a fancy camera. All you need is your phone. In fact, I'm filming this on my iPhone 11 right now. In fact, all the videos that I've made so far on this channel have all only been made with my iPhone 11. Does having really good camera gear help? Sure it does, but it doesn't matter if you don't know what you're doing with it. See, the thing I really love about using a smartphone for any video projects that I wanna do is that Phones are pretty intuitive. We spend so much time in the day on our phones anyways, that you know when it comes to filming, all you need is to pick up the camera app and there you go. I mean, certainly there are some things that can help assist in making things better. And sure, to make a visually compelling music video, you know, there's definitely some things visually with lighting and placement and motion that you definitely and should consider, but it does. If you don't know what the story is going to be about, if it has, you know, you're just going point A to point B, doing kind of whatever, it's not really as interesting to watch. I mean, for me, the most compelling music videos have some kind of a story. There's a little bit of a plot to it, and it's really important to get clear on what that story is going to be about. Now, usually, what I do in order to make music video is to do what I like to call storyboarding. You may have heard this term before. It's essentially just a little, you know, it's a piece of paper with a bunch of boxes and you fill in each scene at a time what's going on and just kind of describing what's happening along the way. In fact, I wanted to make it so easy for you guys to storyboard. I've included a free storyboarding template down in the description below that you can download to storyboard your own. So for those of you who've never storyboarded before, here's how it kind of works. So I'm gonna be using my template just kind of as an example of how to do this. So you take your first box. And by the way, you don't need to be a Picasso to do this. I honestly just kind of draw things with stick figures and like hair if I wanna make it look like a girl or a boy or whatever. Um, so step one, write up, you can either start right by writing what you want it to look like or drawing it, you know, just get it all out. And then I would advise you to include the timestamps of what point in the song that you want to do this in the music video. So for example, at the very beginning, I can say I'm walking with my clarinet in uh, across the camera. And then maybe 30 set, maybe at, maybe that takes like 10, 15 seconds. So then the next box I'm gonna write, um, okay, now I'm stopping. I'm looking at my clarinet. There's a shot of my fingers close up. And then I draw a little thing that kind of looks like that. And then you just keep going and going until you fill out the rest of the storyboard with all the scenes you want. Now, this is really important to do before you get to the actual filming of the music video part, because you don't want to be on set being like, uh, maybe I should do this, uh, maybe I should do that, uh, uh, and then you're kind of stuck in this 
decision paralysis about what to do. And let me tell you, when you're filming a vid music video, you have to be like really in it, all the way focused, and you don't want to be bought, you know, sometimes it can get really stressful depending on how much stuff you're gonna need. You want as little stress as possible on the day of the shoot. Trust me, I'm easily stressed out when on the days of music videos, especially when I know I have to prepare a lot. Um, so the less stress I have on the day of, the better. And the more enjoyable of an experience I'm gonna have filming this thing. Which leads me to key number two, plan ahead. Now, this might seem like a really obvious thing to keep in mind, but when I say plan ahead, I'm specifically say, talking to planning out and planning ahead of the shoot. How much time is it gonna take to film everything? When are you gonna record the song? When are you gonna finish mixing and mastering the music to the song to give to the videographer? When are you gonna shoot the date? What kind of costumes do you need? How long is that gonna take? And the list goes on. There's a million things that you might need to think about in consideration of a music video, depending on what you're shooting. But let's say you're making a music video and you only have six weeks to record, film, edit, do all of the things that you need to get done in order to shoot and release this music video, you're gonna need to plan that out ahead of time. Especially if you know in those coming weeks there's gonna be days where you can't work on it or you know, if you don't order the, your costume by a certain time, then you're not gonna have it in time for the music video and that's gonna postpone the shoot date. Ideally, if you can, planning the shoot on a day where you, you're not doing anything else, where you're not involved in three or four other jobs. And you know, as I'm listing these things out, you see how it can get easy to get overwhelmed by all the things that you need to think about. That's why it's so important to plan ahead because the, the, the sooner you plan things out, the easier a process is, this is gonna be, you know? Just making sure you stay on track and, you know, looking ahead, making sure you're on, you're on task. As you know though, things come up every once in a while, which is why you wanna make sure you're also planning with enough time that, you know, in case anything happens, it's e it'll be easier, it's easy to pivot from where you are and move in the next direction or the next step that you need to take in order to go forward. Now the third, and final key that I have sort of comes in two parts, but it all is wrapped up into one little bundle and it has the same sentiment. So the first part is get ready to make decisions. As I've said, there's so many things that you're gonna need to get clear on exactly what you want to do. You wanna wear the red costume or the blue costume? Should I make the video about this song or that song? Am I gonna make it a live recording or am I gonna record it in the studio? And I gonna use a green screen or am I gonna do it outside? Or am I gonna do it indoors? Or am I gonna do it in the garage? Or am I gonna do it in my friend's backyard? There's a lot of decisions to make. With so many things to think about, I get why it might feel overwhelming to you. But you have to go into this with a mindset that you're gonna need to make decisions. Which brings me to the second part of this key, which is trust your vision. Emphasis on your vision. You know, the vi the music video will only look a certain way because at the end of the day, you are the one calling all the shots. It's your creative project. To me, there are no right or wrong answers when it comes to making a decision about a music video. It's kind of like, well, would you rather have an apple or an orange? Ah, uh, today I feel like having an apple. Maybe tomorrow I feel like having an orange. The same thing goes when making a music video with pretty much every decision that you make. You know, even if things don't work exactly the way you want them to, it's always a learning experience. You know, I wouldn't have learned the things if I had, if I didn't, you know, trust myself going through with this vision. And you know, as a result, I've become a successful music video maker with my career. But I wouldn't have done that by just listening to what everyone else said. Sure, I got advice from people who I knew knew better than me. And if you're watching this YouTube channel, watching my videos, it means you've placed a certain level of trust in me to guide you with how to work all this process out. But you should never forget that at the end of the day, you are the one who's gonna make that vision of yours come to life the most out of anybody else in your presence, in your circle in all the, out of all the creative people that you work with. And you, if that means going for a specific lighting scenario because you think it's gonna make your shot look better, then go for that. If you think that doing it indoors might be better because 
don't have the budget to go out and get a big studio and you, you're pretty good with DIY so you can make something up from your office at home, like I do, then go with that. At the end of the day, nobody knows your creative vision better than you do. And that's it. Those are the three keys that you need to know in order to make an awesome music video. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, if you guys want help with storyboarding and you know, kind of really getting clear as to what you want your music video to look like, I've left a free storyboarding template down below in the description so you can go ahead and download and use that. If you really like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and also make sure you hit the bell so you'll be the first one to know when I release a new video. I'll be releasing videos weekly every Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you wanna remember when the next video is, keep that schedule in mind. And if you can't, comment down below. What's something that you're struggling with when it comes to making music video? Or is there a tip that you found really useful when it comes to making music videos? Something that you know you could never skip or forget in order to make your music video successful. All right guys, catch you later, bye.